It took me eight and a half hours to get up here. Every 100 feet, it got harder and harder to breathe. Or every few meters, I'm having to sit down and gather my breath. The sun sets in three hours and 53 minutes at 7.31, it's 3.37. I gotta cover seven miles of up and down, up and down terrain in five hours. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Right now it's 7.20 a.m. And I'm out here at Pike National Forest, just north of Cheyenne Canyon Park. It's a little chilly, but I, I'm, I'm really excited for the day. And it's going to be up going up toward Mount Rosa. So we're talking about a little over 4,000 foot elevation gain, which is also going to be my first time. It's going to be tough. It's going to be exhausting. But uh, it's what I love doing, so I can't wait to get to it. stop real quick so I can get a view of this summit here man that's that's beautiful not even a mile in yet but I'm I've been pretty captivated it's so it's just so peaceful out here it's so beautiful after my last hike up in Aiken Canyon. It's been harder to breathe, it's been harder to move. When I first started the trail, I was already having chest pain. I was already having trouble breathing. And you know, I'm going up in elevation. I'm probably a little over two miles in, maybe. starts right at the saddle between this mountain and that mountain. The trail stops, it hits that waterfall. It's not supposed to do that, it's supposed to keep going up. So I checked my map and realized I took the wrong trail. So apparently there was, a, there was an intersection that I was supposed to hit, I think, um, this point where it's more like my northwest. I was supposed to hit that, I missed it, so now I'm bear crawling up the mountain. So I'm gonna start it down here, right at the bottom of this draw here between these two mountains. And then I gotta get over, over all these rocks and stones to get up to the, to the right trail this time. <laughs> so hard that was so stinking hard that incline was intense man i didn't i can't tell you how many breaks i took to get up here it is ridiculous but i'm glad to be back in business now <laughs> Dragon made it to the summit after eight and a half hours 
of hiking and huffing and puffing and sitting down on a rock because my body just doesn't want to handle the elevation today. I started at 7,200 feet and now I'm at 11,500 feet. The view is absolutely stunning. I would hike, I would do this again just to see this view because I mean, I see the lake. I'm gonna show it on video. I see the lake right here. I see the mountains that are on the western side of the town of Westcliff in Colorado. Um, I can, I believe I can see the Collegiate Mountain Range as well. Obviously I can see Pikes Peak right behind me. It's out of focus though. And then over here I can see Colorado Springs. Um, so I mean, I have a 360 view of the entire area. That's all the Great Plains, all out there. Right, then I could zoom in for you. And then we have Pikes Peak right here. Like I'm, 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 a, I'm not even that far from it. And height wise, I'm definitely not that far from it. So that's great. But here's the problem. It took me eight and a half hours to get up here. Seven miles. Like I say, it wasn't just because it was just hard. Every 100 feet, it got harder and harder to breathe was to the point I'm huffing and puffing and every several meters or every few meters I'm having to sit down and gather my breath so the problem is right now it is 337 the sun sets in three hours and 53 minutes at 731 it's 337 okay I might have to hike through the woods at night that's cool next problem is is that the parking lot that I'm at closes at nine o'clock I gotta cover seven out seven miles of up and down, up and down terrain in five hours. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. We've got this right here so far. Right. But don't worry, it gets deeper. Right? Ah, oh, just like that. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. It is, it goes deep. I hate this. I hate, I hate this so much snow. I can't find the trail. I have to find the footprints. I got some right here. Look how deep this snow is. Look at this. Look. This is what I'm talking about. What do you do about this, man? It's like in the 50s. It's so weird to see snow when it's so long gone. My phone battery is on 6%. Hour and a half ago, so I gotta leave it off. I'll leave it off so I have some juice left. So, oh. I'm trying to hurry up and get out of here. I'm trying to do snow. You're slipping and sliding every step you take. Gosh, it's so annoying. Just like that. Like, that's all I've been doing the whole time. Just foot goes forward. I tell you, after the day, I don't want to see any more snow and ice for a long time. I don't know what to say. I slipped, I fell twice going down. I forget about how difficult it is going down snow and ice compared to going up. But I forget how heavy going downhill is on the knees. Using a lot of the knees to brace the impact. Instead of just leveraging up, you're bracing going down. It's pretty steep going down as it was going up, but I'm moving a lot faster now. I was early. So to give y'all a reference, the mountain that I was just at is right, actually right in front of me. So right above my finger, that was the summit that I just left. As you see from a distance, it was a pretty long way. Right now it's 4.45, so I have almost three hours left of daylight. But I'm glad it's getting a lot warmer. My feet are warming up from all the snow. That was on, they were freezing, they were numb. Just trying to get that warmth now. Now I'm getting lower in elevation. So the trail is starting to lose snow. I'll be able to get out here even faster, hopefully. Making good progress. Almost got lost though. But I realized the trail that I took, I realized some things that I didn't notice, so I turned around. I looked at my, my phone first for a quick second. So my battery's low. I checked my phone. I realized I'm going the wrong way. But I'm first I noticed it because there are just a couple of things that I'm like, that ain't familiar, man. I definitely don't remember that. I got about two hours left. It's 5.15. But I'm hauling, as you can see. I'm trying to get here as soon as I possibly can. 
Guys, we're making such beautiful progress compared to coming up. That mountain right there, that's my indicator that I'm getting close. I don't know if you can hear it, but the creek is running right here. That's the creek that was at the beginning of this trail. I got about a mile and a half, two miles left. Because my chest is killing me. As y'all don't know, I had COVID about two years ago. And I still deal with the long-term symptoms. So I don't know what having asthma is like, but I think after COVID, I can guess, get a guess of what asthma is like now. It's It sucks right now, so... I was already feeling bad before I even started, but I kept on pushing, and uh, I am I am glad that I pushed through and I was able to finish this out, even with even through the pain, even through the discomfort, even through the troubled breathing, and it only got harder the higher I got. Like I said earlier, it doesn't happen a lot, but for some reason the day was just the day where my body just wasn't with me. There's the creek down there. It's getting closer to the trail. That's an indication for me. I'm almost there. got too far left now. I don't have too far left. It feels like I just left from one world and went to another. It's crazy how this landscape is, eh? Around here. I keep going down there. Park lot is right, right here at the base. I'm so ready, to, I'm so ready to eat. Um, this is my personal record. If if there's one of you guys who's, who's done more, this ain't nothing to you, well, that's good for you. But as for me, I have challenge myself and I've overcome right the most I've done was 12 miles and that was at uh, uh, desert I was out in the desert it was mostly flat mostly flat and then you have parts where it was like a plateau we had to climb up the plateau but I wasn't dealing with any symptoms then like I've been dealing with again recently when I went out hiking out in Aiken Canyon I felt great I didn't have any breathing problems but to come out here have breathing problems and then hike you know up to 11,000 feet from 7,000 feet take a break every few meters and to know that I inch my way up there it feels great it feels really great and better relief to know I could just chill to the finish line I could just cruise now I don't have to sprint there anymore so I'm taking my time to the truck <laughs> I finally made it I finally made it to the parking lot I'm going home I'm eating good and I'm sleeping good too yeah, right now I'm exhausted. I'm ready to eat. I'm fatigued. Man, this was a. I had a blast, even though it, every it was so many challenges. I had fun. I came in here around 7:05, and I'm getting back around 7:10. Um, but oh wow, wow, what a day, what a day. I was so worried I wasn't gonna be able to get back to the truck, but we we made it on time, and I was able to chill the last mile or two. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it too. I enjoyed making it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you like this type of content, you want to see, and you enjoyed it so much that you said, "Hey, I want to go. See, I want to see this again." Please hit the subscribe button. But as usual, everyone have a blessed one.